Hello, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily take photos in harsh or in, on a day when the sun is too much or in bright sunlight. So in this video, you can see right now it is around midday and you can see that the sun is too bright. For example, if I told I'm, I, I'm to just come and stand right here, you can see if at all you have to take a photo, you're going to be having those harsh shadows below the model's eyelids or below the model's eyes so if at all you don't want the model to frown like i'm doing right now i'm going to be showing you how you can easily build up your shot and the do's and don'ts of taking your outdoor images so that you can have the very best and the brightest exposure and the most beautiful images so the very first thing you have to take into consideration is always look for a shade or a shadow area nearby when you're going to take your photos so you can see right now my face looks a little bit more relaxed than when I was standing in the sun. So the very first tip is always and always look for a shadow area in that outdoor space. And if I told you don't have uh, that, I'm just going to be showing you what you can use in order to really uh, block away that harsh sunlight. So if I told you have a reflector, usually we have that kind of diffuser within uh, the reflector. So that thing is going to help you always and always eliminate that kind of harsh sunlight that is coming from on top so it's going to eliminate the strength of the sunlight when it is coming to hit your model straight so in this video we're going to also be focusing more on how you can also build up your shot during a very harsh sunlight situation so for example if at all it is a harsh midday sun situation you always have to make sure to use high speed sync so by high speed sync i mean your camera is going to increase the shutter speed in which the uh the sync speed for the flash is also going to be synced alongside the fast shutter speed for the camera for, so for example if at all i'm to shoot wide open so this is a 70 200 millimeter lens so if at all i'm to shoot at 2.8 it means when i expose the model well the background is going to be really blown out so we have to introduce high speed sync and we increase the shutter speed so that the background is very well lit but as you are bringing out a very well lit background it is going to make the model look a little bit darker so high speed sync is going to enable you uh expose very well the background and also it is going to enable you with a flash that is enabling high speed sync is going to enable you light up the subject remember when you're using high speed sync you're going to darken the background and remember as you're darkening the background the model is going to be very dark so you have to introduce a flash that is compatible with high speed sync and it is going to enable you light up your subject so that is what we're going to be focusing more on this video and stay tuned as we understand and we look at this in this very video and Make sure that you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you're going to be learning so much from this very video. And now you can see this is the camera I'm going to be using and I'm just going to be using the Tamron 70-200mm f2.8. And you can see the sun is way overhead and if at all I just turn this side you can see that I'm going to be getting shadows below my eyes so which we don't want so like i said always put your model in a shadow area or in a shade if at all you're planning to shoot an outdoor or in an outdoor location so this is the camera i'm going to be using and i want to show you first of all how you can easily build up your shot as you're trying to use this concept of high speed sync so in order to build up your shot i'm just going to be showing you always first of all choose the right aperture for your given shoot for so for this case i'm just going to be using the aperture of 3.2 meaning the lens is going to be wide open so if at all i'm um, first of all exposed for the model and i take a test shot i want to first of all make sure that the model is well lit so i'll be using around iso 200 and i'll just take a test shot i'll turn off my light and take a test shot let me just increase my shutter speed a little to around one out of 400 of a second and i'll take another test shot so right now you can see that uh, we are still having the issue of a blown out background 
while the model is very well exposed. So you can see that we have a blown out background while the model is well exposed. And I'll be showing that on the screen. So what we want to do, we want first of all, expose for the background and make sure the background is exposed well. So in order to do this, simply choose your best ISO. So for my ISO, I'm just going to be using 160 and I'll just expose for the background. So let me just first of all, take it at one out of 640th of a second and just take another test shot right here. And I'll just increase it to around one out of 1,000th of a second. And I'll just take another test shot right here. So you can see that the background is now exposed well. So it is time for bringing in my light. So I'm just going to turn on my light. And for the light setup I'm using, I'm using the Godox AD600 BM. So I'm using the Godox AD600 BM. And I'll just turn it on. And I'm using the channel... I'm using channel A and I'm just going to put it at around half far because I've overly darkened the background right in this case. So with that done, I'll just leave the shutter speed to uh, one out of 1,000 so seconds. Remember, I already darkened the background in this case and the aperture I'm using 3.2. So I'll just come, just push a little bit behind. So I'll just take another test shot. I'll just take another test shot right here. So I'll just uh, reduce the shutter speed a little to around one out of 800 of a second. You can push a little bit aside. So one out of 800 of a second. So I'll just take another shot. So I feel like this is a little bit uh, blown out. So I'll just come and simply increase the ISO to 200 and simply reduce on the power of my light to around a quarter or one out of four. So with that done, can you push a little bit behind? Right there. So let me just take another shot. So this looks great. It looks better than it was before. So I just turn up the ISO to around one out of around 250 with the shutter speed of 800 of a second. So I'll just take an ash shot. So I think right now we are good to go. And now you can see the model is well lit and the background is also not overly blown out. So let's just start having fun. So let's just have fun, Fante. And we start taking these nice and beautiful photos. Nice. Can you do the same pose when you're turning towards the light? Turn towards the light. Yeah, like that. Huh? Oh. Nice. Let me just take a half. Nice, that's beautiful. Can I have the phone out of your pocket? So as you're pausing, make sure to turn towards the light. Yeah, pause, yeah, like that. That's beautiful. I love that. Let me just extend behind a little. One more step. Yeah, right there. That's beautiful. Let me just increase the shutter speed. Yeah, this is great. So let me just take half photos. Nice. Yeah. This is beautiful. Can I have you turn your waist towards this side? Yeah, like that. I love that. Beautiful. Can you just cross your feet down and do like this? Yeah, like that. Nice. 
This is beautiful. Let me, can I have you just spread your feet a little? And like that. Can you just stand this side? Yeah, I love that. Okay. Can you turn towards the light? Yeah, just turn towards the light. Then the other hand in your hair. Yeah, like that. Wow, so this is it for days behind the scenes and I hope to see you in yet another behind the scenes and if at all you haven't hit the like button, make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet another behind the scenes and you can see <laughs> the model right here is called Fante. You can follow her on Instagram and I'm also going to link her Instagram in the description of this video. So I'll see you in another video. <laughs> <laughs>